Good morning, everyone. It's Rafe Gal. We are playing some more Pokemon Reborn. We are continuing the aftermath of our train heist, chasing Corn Rouge. And uh, before we can actually do this chase, we're going to do a couple things quick. First thing is forget to switch which Pokemon is in front. Okay. Should be here, maybe. There we go. Lacephalon. Another of the uh another of the beast Pokemon. Uh Ultra Beast Pokemon. We're probably not going to be using it unless somebody asks for it, but... This is where we catch it. <laughs> it's a fire ghost type. It's, if I remember correctly, a fast special attacker. Um... Okay, so we've got that done. Go to the bottom here, get that life orb. We also need to, real quick... Get into any fight. This is probably not the best fight that we could be in for this, but that's okay. At least the uh, AI is done. Do we not have polka dolls? <laughs> or are they hiding somewhere that I'm forgetting? Usually they're in this pocket with the battle items. Well, that was almost a disaster, but I mean, I guess it could be worse. We really just wanted to get the burn back on, because after healing, we have to get his guts reactivated. Okay, and he has a life orb as well. We're gonna switch Toby back to the front. Then we are going to max repel and save and begin our pursuit of the nefarious Conan Rouge and his, accompl uh, his accomplice Hoopa. Give it up with Hoopa's portals on my side that you have a hope of catching me. I just left both the orbs right here. Wait, where did the blue orb go? Forget it. I've still got the red orb right here. You can run through altered space all day. Save yourself the effort and head home. We'll meet again never. Oh my. 
I mean, I guess we just keep following the path as much as there is one. This is the one that had, like, the invisible platforms, right? I don't know how to get that one over there. Oh, well. Where are we going? Am I just literally wandering around randomly at this point? I may have completely lost where I was supposed to be. That's probably not good. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably bad. Like, I genuinely don't know where I'm supposed to be right now. why we save. I'm feeling like there's probably a way to get over to that without going all the way around. And I just need to remember what it is. Hey, there's the Z cell that we were looking for earlier. I'll definitely save that just to make sure. Okay. I guess there's two ladders here, and I don't know which one is the actual path. If either of them is. There we go. I mean, do we try? Is it this? Or is it the other way? It's not that. That's a dead end. Okay. That's also a dead end. This has been fun. I should throw legendary items around more often. Have you checked your items pocket recently? I have. Who's just pulling your leg? Unless, wait, isn't that a prison bottle? Put that there. What? I'm very confused. They're talking about me having an item that I don't seem to have? Oh, there's the blue orb. Okay, whatever. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding with you. The only prison here is the one you're in. It's time to return to you being forced to check on... Uh, an overstuffed backpack. I'll stop talking to myself, but I forgot to mention. Found another one of your friends laying around. Keep an eye out, okay? 
Yeah, it's one I'm slightly worried about here. And actually, that's the other fight we're prepping for. Yes. I'm. I don't even know if we were supposed to go through that door. I don't think there was another way to go, though. This splits up three ways. We probably just have to keep following one of these paths, but it's still, like, seriously, could be any of these. There it is. Yep. I don't love the fact that it just tosses you out like this. Um... Wait, is that? I didn't mean to send him over here. That's not a friend. Sorry about the little mix-up. Our staff will get that cleaned up right away. Here, just... We'll make that go away. That's better. Now let's forget you saw everything. The real one is just ahead. Really? Okay, so I am just going to come out and say that this is probably my least favorite of these sections so far. Um, the, the idea of it being Corn Rouge is cool. I wish there would have been more clues that it was Corn Rouge. Because it did feel very... Meh. Like, it didn't feel like you had a chance. I guess is maybe a good way to put it. Like, the fun of a mystery is being able to solve it. And if it doesn't actually give you the clues to solve it... That's not good mystery writing. And now, this section, you're literally just wandering around. And as far as I can tell, you could just leave and go somewhere else. <laughs> or get completely lost. I wish it was a, had a little bit better rails or a little or some, again, clues. Okay, this is definitely going to be it. Our favorite person is back. Oh! She brought me back. Why? I was sure she was done with me in Labradora. She could have made me win if she wanted. She only loses because she wants to. I can pretty much guess everything that happened while I was out. You broke the rest of Team Meteor, got all the keys back, she to took you to the Citadel, opened the new world, and then let you win, right? You're probably thinking, she didn't let me win, I won on my own power. No, she let you win, trust me. She got bored of that doll a long time ago. It couldn't say much at first, but eventually she learned to make it speak. Speaking through it was still difficult though, so can you stop with the creepy music? I'm not trying to be intimidating here, thanks. So you beat the doll, and Lynn pretending, pretended to be defeated, but the new world already exists, so now a bunch of stupid stuff keeps happening. That doll originally only existed so she could get herself out, uh, but then she started having fun with it. She didn't get out, did she? She went from being trapped by the closed world to being trapped by her own power. And now she's getting bored. She brought me back. Basically, once again, I'm just here to play a part and meet others' expectations. Oh my god, can you get this stupid black aura off me already? I swear, it's made of juice that makes you dramatically monologue. That's really fair. Okay. Umbral Terra. Play doll battle. Um, 
I think we bring Mark in here and uh, hope that they keep setting up. Spore is partially just there because it's going to help stall turns for those, uh, screens that just got put up. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. Palisand comes out. Honestly, I think we just go Nick here. Palisand isn't too bad, and uh, we should be able to... Actually, we can Blizzard here. Why does Palisand have hidden power fire? Oh. <laughs> I hate hidden power so much. Okay. is down. I think I just switch over to Geo at this point. I was not expecting a Palisand to uh, outspeed here. There's light screen down. Let's get Trick Room back up. It's probably using Shadow Ball again. I'll hard switch to Ishtar and see. Sire. So like I said earlier, um, this is the team that I originally set up my ice and uh, grass for. Because Quagsire, uh, Swampert, Garchomp, <laughs> We just hyper beam there because it's worth making sure the Garchomp is dead. <laughs> like, Twisted Dimensions are still going. I didn't want to risk it. That feels like a good decision. Go Lurk. Trick Room back up. Okay, if it's using Ice Punch. Does Jewels actually have a move that can be used here? Not really. Nick is the person I actually want here. So... I think we take a turn to get a revive down. Trusting that the Golurk will kill. 
can use that to swap. And start Giga Draining. Unfortunately, we can't Mega again. But we do get the Hail back up, which is better than nothing. And I'm assuming this is going to be a Mega Swampert. Are we done yet? <laughs> can you KO me any faster? I wish. I wish, Terra. At least the lead speak is much less obnoxious this time. Holy crap. Switch to dimensions return to normal. Hail finishes off Mudkip. Great, thanks. <laughs> much better. You're expecting me to go back to my usual chaos persona. I'm going to have to disappoint you. The umbral energy draws out the most destructive parts of a person because somebody thought that was a convenient plot device. But in my case, it doesn't really matter. I was already there. I still have some of that juice in me, so bear with it for a moment. My parents generally expect me to get good grades, stay out of trouble, blah, blah, blah. They weren't especially strict compared to other parents. It's not like they were abusive, but I always got really shaken up whenever anybody I or whenever I did get in trouble with them or anyone else. It was crushing. It was ridiculous. And every time I felt like I was about to be charged or other executed, talk about an overreaction. So to avoid that feeling, I got used to living my life the way others thought I should. Woke up, go to school, do the work. Come home, study, go to sleep, rinse, leather, repeat. Just like 7 billion other people, whatever, are on this planet. Automatic process, automatic life. Stay in line, wait for the midlife crisis to kick in. All of it, it's just so pointless that I met her. The real her, not the doll. She really opened my eyes. It's pointless anyway. You may as well have fun with it. Break the rules. Color outside the lines. Isn't it better than living a cookie cutter life? She went on to do just that. Found me, recruited me to the team to help rescue her. I found freedom under her power. Because with her, the rules didn't matter anyway. She was in it for some or for the same reason. Everything is awful. May as well have some fun. I think I was the only person she actually trusted because we had that in common. There's probably a lot I could tell you about her and her plans, but I don't think she'd want that. Even now, she's probably watching, aren't you? Did you bring me back out of pity or boredom? I don't care. I didn't ask to come back. Better to go out with a bang than burn out and fade away. I don't think I have that much zaniness left in me anyway. What about you? Did you find it funny, all of my antics before? No. Just obnoxious, right? Yes. <laughs> Sometimes I even annoyed myself. Better than withering away under monotony. That's what I told myself. I shouldn't still be here. Just let me go. Both of you. Just leave me. I'm sure you were doing something before I interrupted. I don't need to be a part of this story anymore. I mean, that's true. Talk about... <laughs> Talk about, uh, you know, shifting the... Tone. <laughs> Wait, why is Julia suddenly there? <laughs> Old or the old version of Terra with the hammer, rainbow hair. Stop! <laughs> hammer time. So let me get this straight. The chief was an imposter, the train was grounded in the desert, the red orb was stolen, the thief got away, Rafe suffered head trauma, the entire pocket of New World space was completely destroyed in an explosion so intense the tremors were felt through the entire city and desert. Yep, that about sums it up. 
In my defense, I was left unattended with Terra for more than 30 seconds. This is really gonna put a damper on our relationship, isn't it? Did you got it on my damn? Would you even cause a chemical explosion in the new world with only a giant mallet, four dozen rubber ducks, and a half-eaten rare candy? Where did you even get all those rubber ducks? Trust me, you don't want to know. Well, I guess we got the old Terra back with a little bit of Hoopa zaniness. Great. Julia and I, if Julie weren't you evacuated the recovery train, how'd you get caught up in this? Oh, it's simple. The guy in the officer hat said this way, please, so I just went the other way. I saw you dip out and followed you. I would have gotten there sooner, but I tripped on a space rock and had to free fall for a while. Good thing you did. If you hadn't, you would have gotten caught up in the damage too. You're all incredibly lucky that Sandy was able to recover you from the new world despite the destruction. And Sandy is the responsible one. What's it come to? I'm super responsible. Responsible for a lot of problems, maybe. I've never caused a problem in my life. Me neither. I caused your mom problems last night. <laughs> Did we have to ring her back? Nah, I'm plot relevant. Call me Vanilla Ice, because you can't touch this. Rawr. I ain't telling you secrets no more, though. My Brian cells have officially left the building. Perish the war, the fire, the whatever. Explosion? Yeah, that. Great. Sandy, would you like to play a little game? Cover Tara's mouth. For each sentence you stop her from saying, I'll s shred one of your incident reports. You got it. Isn't this an abuse of power? Not if they're also digitized. They're what? Multi-sized. I said they're multi-sized. Rafe, if you wouldn't mind, I'll take custody of the blue orb. We'll see it safe to w er, safely stored away, since putting it abroad is clearly not practical. I'm kidding, of course. I'm quite myself. Oh my god. I was about ready to say. <laughs> that jerk stood me up. If you were him, I'd knock all of your lights out right here and now. Anyway, there's one more upside to all this. The Hoopa responsible has been recovered. Apparently rendered unconscious amidst the destruction. Sure you did everything you could. You had the obvious choice of owner to keep it out of any additional trouble. Didn't you board that train with the intention of stealing the orbs? No. I suppose we'll have to write up a report on that too. Not if I shred it first! Yes, I'll take the Hoopa. I see you're always the point of stability in a world that desperately needs it. Yep. Stop licking my hand. I have a few final words for the three stew jets here. Isn't a stew jet a kind of mushroom? No, but they're similarly dangerous if handled poorly. Okay. I thought we were gonna have an interesting version of Terra for a little while, and now I'm sad again. <laughs> that was a long and obnoxious section. Um, the fights were okay. Um, but that, that's about all I can say. The fights were okay. <laughs> you know what, though? Most of the stuff in this game has been awesome. They're allowed to have one or two duds out of all the content out there. And considering that they're writing about Terra and Coron Rouge with a bunch of weird stuff, I'm not super surprised. It's also not my favorite. Thanks for helping reunite, reunite us. I'm bored. Do you think Julie wants to blow stuff up later? <sighs> okay. So... It looks like we were able to complete everything we needed to in the desert, which means that we are now into the fifth chapter of the post game out of nine. So clearing these six or seven points, six or seven side quests, is going to be the rest of it. 
for this chapter. Um, pretty much, it feels like we're pretty much getting, I mean, honestly, six, seven, that feels like it's about how a lot of these have gone. Um, some of them we've had less individual quests, but those have been the uh, legendary trios, which I think we've got all of now. So with all the legendary trios under our belt, it makes sense that we would end up um, having more individual quests because we're doing stuff like, you know, Hoopa and uh, or pairs like uh, the Latin twins, I, which I believe are coming up in the next chapter. So. I think we're gonna let this one go where it is. I'm gonna do just real quick here. Oh, Blast Fun is very high special attack, but actually really good attack as well. Interesting. What? <laughs> okay. And then we've got Hoopa, who is mostly just very bulky um and especially bulky and attack heavy and kind of mediocre everywhere else uh so both of these have the same problem uh and it's actually a problem that a lot of starters share as well which is every pokemon only gets so many stat points between it all um and the most efficient ones are usually going to be either attack or special attack. The ones that get pretty solid in both usually means that they're kind of mediocre in a lot of other areas. And both of these are prime examples of that. Like, yes, we could make Hoopa work. There are good things you can do with Hoopa. I think it has a second form that we can probably do even scarier things with. Um, Last Fawn, yes, it's an Ultra Beast. If you can get it going and it gets beast boosted, it could be really scary. Probably good with the Choice Scarf. But you'd have to actually work at it to make it fast enough that it can actually be a sweeper. Um, and it's not bulky enough to switch in, take hits, Stuff like that. Koopa actually has some bulk to it, but it's still very slow. Uh, its physical defense is really bad, so it can't actually wall very well. So yeah, both of these are probably going into the box. Um, that's okay though. Not everyone can be a winner. Team actually went pretty well. Um, I missed the, the hidden power fire completely threw me off my game. If that one attack had not been a hidden power fire, we probably would have been... We probably just would have wrecked that entire battle. But we lost Nick, who was mega at the time, because hidden power fire is... I mean, honestly, just because Obama, uh, Obama Snow is very weak to fire. So, it is what it is. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end here. Like I said, uh, we'll pick back up next time with the starting the chapter five post game. Uh, I'm assuming it's going to continue getting into even more and more uh, scary stuff. More complicated stuff. Uh, I think I'm going to do a little bit of the arena beforehand as well just to make sure that I've got all the resources I need because I burned a lot prepping for these last couple sessions including two more uh, remote computer batteries um so yeah good to get things back in control hope you're enjoying if you are please give me a like and subscribe check out the other content on my channel if you have any questions or suggestions please leave them in the comments and as always, 
Have a good one. We'll catch you next time.